Today I'm going to show you how to use a Python, a built-in function in Python called range, which allows you to count and count by certain numbers from a certain number to a certain number. Let's have a look at it. I'm just going to go into the Python environment by typing Python. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in simply, oops, not ring, range. And in parentheses, I will put 10. Oops inside the parentheses would be work a little bit better. And you can see it counts from zero through to nine. It's actually giving us a range of 10. Python, like computers do, start counting at zero. So we went from zero to nine, but it's 10 digits. Can also do the same thing. We can say range 100 and it goes from zero to 99, displaying 100 different numbers. Uh, another thing we can do is we can say, if we wanted to start at one, we can say one comma to a hundred. So this is the number we're starting at, and this is the number we're stopping at. So we went from one to 99. If we wanted to go hundred, we'd do 101. Now we can also do, uh, add a third comma here, and this is your step. So we've got our start, which we're starting at one in this case, although we can start at 10. We'll start at 10 just to change it up a little bit. So you got your start, your stop, and this is your step. Your step is how much it increases each time. So we'll say two. So it goes 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, all the way up to 100 in this case. Um, you can count by any numbers you want. You can count by fours. You can count by threes. You can start at three, go to nine, counting by threes, and you get three and six. So you got your start, your stop, and your step. Now you can also go the other direction. I can go from three to negative nine, and I'll just not put a step, so it'll just go by one each time. And, oh, I guess since I'm going negative, I do have to put a number negative one. There we go. So we go, we're subtracting one each time. Three, two, one, zero, one, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative, all the way up to negative eight. So this is the range command and it's useful if you just want to get a range of numbers uh, and in a particular step in some case. So I hope you found this useful. Visit Films by Chris for more video tutorials like this. I hope you have a great day.